Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and this is a huge pile of uh, wood chippings and mulch that the county, or actually the electric company was having a company clean the trees that were around the high voltage wires because they continually were arcing and blowing our power out every time the wind would blow. So they cleaned this whole area out and they have hundreds of loads of this stuff. I mean, they just go on and on. But what I want to show you about this and mulch in general is the power of it. Now, I'm going to dig down in here a little bit. This stuff was dumped yesterday and it's already starting to decompose. And that is just halfway down. It's about 73 degrees out and the, there's 111 degrees temperature right there. After the hurricane season of 2004, I think, whenever Charlie came really close to us and screwed everything up and the state of Florida was having millions of tons of this stuff every day, um, we had them take this stuff and I actually, just as a test, I, do, I set it on a copper pipe and let it set and for about four days we had constant it didn't matter how much you used it was like maybe two three gallons a minute whatever the whatever fit through the half inch copper pipe constant hundred degree water and that was from well water that was 70 degrees through a hundred foot piece of copper tubing so it was transferring the heat really well all right so the guys with the mulch actually uh, didn't get my message to stop bringing the mulch because we still have to spread this stuff this stuff has been sitting here for about a week now and I want to show you something you saw when they first dumped it what happened if you look now it's even hotter this is just incredible there's that steam coming out of there is all just this stuff decomposing I haven't done a thing to it it's also worth noting that these are kind of in the shade so the steam and the heat is from decomposition it is not from uh, the I mean some of it's probably from the Sun but they dumped this at nighttime and uh, it was steaming in the morning so I'll give you an idea of what you're dealing with they have a can of water a metal can it's an old WD-40 can I cleaned it out really good. I'm not going to drink the water. I'm just going to use it to see how hot we can get this water. So what I'm going to do is dig a nice hole and put this can in there. Now keep in mind that some of this is going on several, several days. This has been in the ground for exactly three hours and 16 minutes. I'm gonna dig it out. And see, ouch, oh wow, that's hot. I don't have my gloves with me. There you are, over here. Whoa, we're gonna take this back to the shop. You can see it's actually fogging the camera up. We're going to see uh, how hot this water is. Cover that up so no little animals get stuck in there. Alright, so all of my thermometers are pretty much shot. Um, I'm going to stick that in there and see. says that it's about a hundred probably a hundred and ten degrees which is what this was actually peaking out at a hundred and twelve once I got it out it's been about 
15 minutes, so 110. So it's cooled off a little bit, but in three hours we were able to get this up to 112 degrees from 70 degrees. Now it is 85 degrees outside, so that really can throw the test off a little bit. The well water was 70 to start with. We jumped up uh, 40 degrees. It's pretty good for one gallon just sitting in mulch. Now the mulch isn't going to break down forever. It's going to eventually stop the heating process, but keep in mind this was just a little fraction of those piles out there. With all of those piles we probably could have easily put several hundred gallons under there and uh, heated it up. Just an interesting little experiment to do. Actually it's approaching 120 in the water. It's actually pretty warm. It's hotter. It's about as hot as shower water that you'd ever want to take. And, well, I guess you like really hot, hot shower. Yeah, that's that's really warm. It's almost uncomfortably warm. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.